In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make extended sequences with the Cherry MRB 960 sequencer in conjunction with the 962 sequential switch. I have a pretty conventional patch set up up here. I've got a 921 ABBB triple oscillator combo plugged into a CP3 console mixer. And the output of that goes to a 904A low pass filter. The output of that goes to a 902 VCA. And the VCA and the filter both have their own envelope generators. I've got a, an attenuator set up here so I can adjust how much we get of the uh, envelope generator modulating the filter cutoff. So that's my basic base patch. And down here, row A of the sequencer is patched to the oscillator CV input to control its pitch. So if I turn on the oscillator clock of the uh, 960, we just hear this row playing. But I can use the 962 sequential switch to switch between rows. So in other words, I can have the first row play, and then I can have the second row, and I can add the third if I want to. Now, in reality, the 960 is just continuously playing all three rows. But what's happening is I'm going to switch the outputs. So let's unplug the quantized output of row A, and I'm going to plug this into signal input 1 of the 962. And then I'm going to take the second row, and I'm going to plug that into signal input 2. And now I'm going to take the output of the switch, and I'm going to plug it back into the oscillator frequency. So if I turn on the sequencer now, we're going to hear row A. And if I hit the number 2 button on the 962, it immediately jumps to row B. But naturally, we're in voltage-controlled synthesizer world, and we don't want to switch this manually. We want it to happen automatically. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the output of stage 1, and we're going to plug it into this shift input here. So what that means is when the sequencer hits stage 1, a pulse of voltage is going to come out of this output right here. It's going to pulse this shift, and it's going to shift to number 2. So, All right, so I'm going to reset the sequencer to stage 1 by hitting the button right here. And now I'm going to turn it on. And there's row A. Row B. Back to row A. And to row B. If I wanted to add row 3, all I have to do is take the output of row C, plug it into input number 3. And the number 3 jack on the 962 is smart. It knows you plugged a cable into it, so it knows to go through three stages. So now I'm going to hit start on the sequencer, and it's going to play row A, and row B, and row C, and then it's going to go back to row A again. <laughs> 